Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on April 23rd, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to a big earthquake update here for you. We're going to wait for everybody to flood in here. Don't forget to please hit that like button. Hello, and friends don't forget and family to from around the world. Like, subscribe, and share. And don't mind the little bit of audio that was fed into your ear there. My apologies. So yeah, welcome everybody. We are now being hit by this geostorm, which was forecasted for late 23rd of April into the 24th from the M-class solar flare that was Earth-facing. Looking at the last 48 hours of sun imagery, not too much to talk about, but definitely a solar influx, X-ray flux, after that M-class solar flare right there. Other than that, we've got equatorial plasma filaments still spinning around and dancing around, working with each other or against each other, whatever it is. I want to welcome everybody to the live stream. Hello, everybody. Hello, Space River. Hello, Maria. Hello, Doracle. Hello, Nick Stinson. Hello, Wendy. Hello, Heather and Oz. Hello, Deborah. Hello, Lilu. Hello, Melody. Welcome, everybody, to the stream. So, yes, we did have that M-class solar flare two days ago. We are now being hit by the geostorm. KP index jumped right up to KP of 8. After our solar winds were being pounded, our magnetosphere was getting pounded. Look at the KP of 8. This is the second time we've been hit that hard by a geostorm. So solar proton flux, definitely an increase here. S1 class solar influx running up to KP of 8. Only a couple minor C class solar flares to talk about since the M class event. Welcome everybody to this quick live stream update, giving you all an update on our current solar storm conditions. Having a look at our magnetosphere as we are being hammered. Welcome everybody to the stream. Thank you so much for checking into the cat the chat section. Hello, Darren Straley. Hello, 99 Fal Fally. Hello, everyone, and hello, Mike. Please don't forget to smack that like for Mike. And thank you, moderators, for all your help in streams. So having a look at our magnetosphere. Solar winds are coming in at 652 kilometers per second. Let's load up the real-time solar wind right now. Hello, Joyce. Welcome. Hello, Psalm 91 PV. Welcome, everybody, to the stream. Don't forget to smack that like button. Share with your friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Dilly Events Worldwide, giving you your update on this current situation, as we just did have a very large earthquake, the Kermadec Trench as well to talk about. Going to get to that in just a moment. I wanted to show you our solar winds as we are getting pounded by over 650 kilometers per second solar winds. Magnetosphere, you can definitely see our planet taking a hit in the pressure diagrams. Thank you all for your subscriptions and as well your likes, your memberships and all the support to the channel. I really appreciate all of the love and community that is here. Let's have a look at our solar winds. It looks like it jumped up to about 720 kilometers per second. So yeah, definitely peaking at over 720. 742 at one point. So that's throughout the day, just in the last, what, six hours or so. So there's some major stuff, major solar influx, as I was talking about.
Cosmic Rays, that's right, everybody. Cosmic Rays, we're being pounded by Cosmic Rays right now. 114 people in here watching right now. Can we get 114 likes? Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. This will be uploaded momentarily, so you can always watch this again, watching all of the events unfolding here. Let's have a look at USGS and have a look exactly where this 7.3 earthquake was. Kermadec Islands, New Zealand, and there were a few earthquakes in the region. Bonin Islands region, Japan also just recently a 5.2. No real deep earthquakes today. Well, actually, south of Fiji Islands here, you can see 540 kilometer depth earthquake. So that was a precursor to this large and shallow 7.3 earthquake. Hello, Glenn Murrah. Welcome. Hello, Deborah. Hello, Stacy. Welcome, everybody, to this live. No tsunami watch with this earthquake. Shake map. Let's just have a quick look here. U.S. tsunami threat. Okay, it says there is a tsunami threat. Let's just have a quick look, see here. So there's a small threat of a tsunami coming from the Southwest Pacific where this large 7.3 earthquake potential threat Kermadec Islands arrived at 423, 823, 248 p.m. And Looks like that's it, 7.3. USGS reporting it as a 7.3, so is Volcano Discovery. We also had some pretty rare earthquakes. Look at this, New York. I heard about this today in the news feeds. So we had a 3.6 earthquake rock New York and then a few small tremors to follow all around. It's kind of a strange place for an earthquake. But I guess all connected to the Great Lakes fault. And just recently, we did have Bonin Islands, Japan region. So that's about it for earthquakes. Only sitting at 210 earthquakes the past 24 hours. This large 7.3 being the largest. And earlier today, we had the deepest in Fiji. 540 kilometer depth just northwest of this large 7.3. Just wanted to give you all a heads up. Earthquakes, solar storms, we're dealing with it right now and the pressure is on. So are the solar winds coming in at over 700 kilometers per second. Pretty amazing stuff, pretty amazing sun and pretty amazing community. Thank you all so much for watching. We will now go back to our regular scheduled live stream programming, earthquakes, live stream with live chat watching our world and thanks everybody for tuning in tonight we'll see you in the upload or we'll see you next stream or next video much love everybody bye bye now